Hi, this is Lorraine again, and I'm doing another video. So um, just give me a couple minutes, clear center and balance my energy to get started, okay? So first, there is only right now. There's no past, there's no future, there's only right now. Every decision we make will affect our path and the direction of that path, your path and the direction of that path. Each individual is determining their future outcome right now. The collective consciousness um, for Earth was once one voice for all. As transcendence occurs, those voices are choosing their paths. There is a voice of transcendence with Mother Earth, and there is a voice of divergence from that transcendence. And each individual voice, each individual decision for each individual person determines the path that you will be walking. That's the first thing. The other thing is um, a little more lighthearted. Um, sorry. Um, so this week, like, there's just a lot of energies that come in as I, like I said, when I'm working or when I'm doing stuff, when I'm on automatic pilot and I'm just working, busy work, uh, riding my bike. Uh, you know, just stuff that doesn't require too much thought. Um, I have energies that come in and start communicating with me and just chatting me up, literally just conversation. And um, so lately I've been thinking about um, transcendence for different worlds and what that looks like for different worlds because the mantis beings came in and said, we transcend, uh, we evolve, but how we how we transcended and we evolved is different from how humans on earth transcend and I, and it's safe to assume that it's different for each world right uh humanoid species will probably evolve similarly um but still it's unique for each world so as i'm working and i'm thinking about this I had what I would call a, a elemental or a fairy energy come in. And when they showed me themselves, they showed me Tinkerbell. So that's what I associate this energy with is this fairy-like elemental um, guardian angelic uh, energy. And what they had said really in summary, just really quickly was that they have transcended. Um, they Their world did not transcend the same way ours did. So right now we're going through a really heavy duty purging of this negative polarity on this world. Uh, and I've said in the past, Earth is unique uh, in the universe. Um, in this, in its evolution, in its people, in its environment in its uh, land and topography and vegetation and marine life and uh, land life and um, so on so this fairy energy came in to say we transcended much differently differently we did not have the turmoil that you have we did not have so much of the uh, flow of positive and negative polarity happening. We did not have as much of the disparity that you're experiencing right now with the positive and negative polarity. Um, in a dual universe, it exists in all worlds in their uh, evolution, in their, I would say, lower densities, like third density, uh, you would see that more as they transcend and move out of that um, reality. But what they, the interesting thing is they said they didn't have the flow of negative and positive polarity quite intensely as we did because their world didn't have the resources that Earth has. So because of the diversity of Earth 
and we have a plethora of resources from the North Pole to the uh, from the North Pole to the South Pole and everything in between the equator where it's really hot the poles where it's really cold and all those degrees of um, longitude and latitude as well as temperature um, create a, a, a diversity on this world that you just don't see on other worlds and that makes it very coveted because of all of the resources that we have naturally that mother earth provides and so from that perspective it's coveted it's coveted by people who want to make money or um, and want to possess own covet those resources because it means power and control and wealth in this world in this capitalistic society so I thought that that was just very interesting that they had come in to share that information about the differences uh, in their transcendence and ascension versus ours. And so I just wanted to share that with you. There was much more to the conversation, but I thought that was like a really interesting insight that they had provided. Um, so I know who's coming through because they came through when I was clearing my energy, but I'm once again, I'm just going to, um, cause I'm shifting my energy around from talking so much. I'm just going to go back in and clear center and balance my energy, recenter myself and, um, make that connection, um, with this energy that has actually come in this past week also. So the first thing I want to share is often I always follow my intuition. I always listen to the higher self and the voice of the higher self and divine guidance. And I, it's easy to discern the difference between the voices, but also to recognize the similarities of those voices. Okay. And where they overlap. Uh, a lot of the hand movements I do throughout the video, uh, here, here, sometimes here, these are always intuitively guided. So I'm not necessarily consciously thinking about it. I'm just flowing with the energy that's flowing through my body. Um, and um, always, always, always. So I clear center and balance my energy because I want to make sure I'm only projecting balance or of a positive polarity um, when I communicate. And so as I communicate information, I know that it is of the highest purpose and the highest guidance from the source of that information, whether it's divinity, whether it's the Mantis Collective, Shamalaya, whether it's the Elemental Collective, which I did not actually ask for a name because I don't think names are important. Um, it's the energy that they're projecting. It's always I always make certain that it is of a positive or, and a very balanced polarity. Um, but today when I started, I was called into this hand movement, hand gesture right here. It was just a little bit different than this than this or this. And I'm like, why am I feeling the need to do this? Um, and then also this is another one that I have been, uh, that you don't necessarily see on the video, but I do. This one is the most strongest right now, is the strongest. Um, and I have to say, I don't know why I do it when I do it. It's just the intuition tells me to do it. But I asked the question why, and it was to communicate to this council that's coming through that I'm receiving the message. So they can, they know intuitively through these communications, through energy, through uh, each particle of energy, which I said carries the whole knowledge of the universe. It all, each particle of energy also carries the universe. Um, 
but material plane physical self Lorene uh, and humanity we also communicate through our voice uh, through our physical expression of let's say art um, facial expressions body movements and so I reaffirm my connection and my communication with this energy through uh, this hand uh, symbol Okay, and so I just wanted to also share that with you. Um, and I'm just going to quickly explain who this energy is. Again, I haven't asked for a name, but I know who they are and represent. I don't feel, uh, Soren Kierkegaard said, if you name me, you negate all the things I could possibly be. That's a summary of a quote that I have on all my social media. but. It's true, once you name someone, you start to pigeonhole them. Um, humanity really, people like titles and names so they can identify things, but how I identify when I communicate with these energies is what they're projecting energetically, the positive polarity. And I also know when there's negative polarities around me. Um, they're not allowed in my space, but they do sit on the peripheral and they're always looking for ways to get in to try to manipulate and psychic attacks. But um, I work diligently to fortify my uh, space and I keep them out, but it's very important to be able to discern the two. So when I bring in energies to communicate, always, always, ultimately, I just make sure they're of a positive polarity or a balanced polarity. And then I open up, I allow that energy to come in and communicate. If you're familiar with the secret space program and channeling in general, um, these energies come in to help guide and kind of give information and help fill in the gaps with our humanity's history, which has pretty much been erased. Um, by the power structure that is right now controlling um, the planet um, or uh, I don't know if you'd say erase but just like hidden let's just say hidden I don't, I don't know if they could really erase it because it's all there um, we just haven't had the general population hasn't had access to it so um, these channels come in and they start to fill in the gaps and then so kind of download information and then as we transcend this information that's provided in the earth on the earth will be revealed to reinforce what all these channels have been trying to tell you um, through these energies and these collectives who have uh, contacted us through the channel so this energy is um, if you're familiar with the space secret space program there is a galactic council that oversees um, managing our solar system and a bunch of other solar systems and stars and, and galaxies, right? Um, and they make sure that there are no uh, crimes against different civilizations. Um, they try to uphold universal law. Um, and I don't want to really get into the details of why this is happening if there's a universal law against it because that's not what this is about right now but there is this galactic council that helps oversee and manage um, universal law so there's also another council that's actually above that um, that would be a ultimate decision maker for um, this Galactic Council. So the Galactic Council would make um, decisions for the areas that they oversee, but then there's another council above that that kind of oversees a larger space, let's say. Um, so just like each governor of, in the United States oversees a state, their state the president oversees all the states correct right do you understand that so there's a council galactic council for our solar system and some others in the in the neighborhood and then there's another council above that 
that oversees a larger space within the universe. Um, and I guess you could say they guide um, and ultimately can override um, this galactic council. Just like there's, I'm sure, a council above them going all the way up to the Godhead, to divinity, who has the ultimate say in how the energy shifts. So we have uh, revelation, which is a prophecy for humanity's transcendence. Um, that's already predetermined the specifics of what the small minute details may vary, but ultimately there's a template of what this transition is going to look like, right? And that's true throughout the universe. Um, but because of free will, that energy shifts and can change um, and mutate um, into uh, something a little different. So the this energy coming through is that a council above this galactic council. Um, give me another second. All is as it is meant to be. We are here to support and guide. We are here to advise. We are here to assure that all goes as it is meant to be. Currently, on your world, you are expelling the negative polarity that has built up on your world. Mother Earth is expelling the negative energy built up on her world. This is as it should be. You have, in fact, crossed the bridge of the apex. The bridge started with the negative polarity believing they had control of the situation, that they would maintain control of your world. As you cross the bridge to the other side, it became clear, at least to most, that this negative polarity would not be claiming Mother Earth. This is how it is meant to be. This has been foretold, and it cannot be overruled. Thus, this other side of the bridge represents this negative polarity coming to terms with the ultimate demise of their rule of your world. What this means for humanity is they will still try to remain in control. If they can't have the whole world they will try to maintain control of the most desired parts of the world, of your world. They can try, but it cannot, but it will not, but they will not prevail. Because as Mother Earth transcends, and her vibration rises, their vibration will not match and therefore they cannot exist on this plane. They cannot exist on Mother Earth's plane. Mother Earth is transcending to a higher vibration. The Earth is transcending to a higher vibration. If your vibration does not match that of Mother Earth, 
you will not remain. How Mother Earth will deal with these lower vibrations is up to her. But what you will struggle with on your world as this negative energy is expelled is their desire to hold on, their desire to maintain control, even though they will not. They will not go down without a fight, so you would say, on your world. You must not allow them to draw you in to their negative vibration, their lower vibration. You must transcend with Mother Earth if you would like to inherit Mother Earth. Your leaders have been advised by the Galactic Council of their role in this transcendence. We have been communicating with your leaders, for there are many on your world. But each leader must determine how their country will respond to this negative polarity, because this negative polarity is pervasive. It exists in all nations on your world. The greatest responsibility of your leaders at this time is to protect those who cannot protect themselves. This is a slippery slope because violence begets violence. Negativity begets negativity. So how do you defend and protect those who are the most vulnerable, your children, your senior citizens, your individuals with disabilities, the most vulnerable people in your world. How do you defend them when you have an aggressive, vicious energy coming at them continuously, not just with guns, with psychological attacks, energetic attacks, as well as physical attacks. How do you defend these most vulnerable individuals? We are advising your leaders in this area, but it is up to them to determine the outcome, how they will respond to this negative polarity. Again, we can only advise in this area. We cannot do it for them or for you. We only ask that you support your leader, your leaders in this endeavor, because this path is a very difficult one. There are many decisions to be made on many levels. And this negative polarity can be very manipulative. They smile at you. They will hug you. They will kiss your babies, so to speak, as they drive the knife into your heart. This is not an expression that you use here on this world. Forgive me if I use this term incorrectly, but they will show you one face they will not show you the darkness. The darkness will come in the night and it will be unassuming. So we ask you to honor your intuition. We ask you to find balance in your lives. 
so that you may honor your intuition and discern between the negative and the positive polarity. So when your intuition guides you, you know that you are being guided by divinity from a place of balance and goodness as opposed to a negative energy which is trying to manipulate you into supporting their agenda. This is important. You must expel not only the negative energy from your world, but also the negative energy that resides within your bodies. This is a form of manipulation also. The toxic nature of your food, the toxic nature of the lotions that you put on your body, the toxic nature, nature of something as simil, simple as eye drops goes into your body and starts affecting your energy field, your aura, and how the body protects itself from the negative polarity. The path that you seek involves many levels of healing. Understanding that negative attacks are not just verbal attacks, they are physical attacks, they are energetic attacks. It behooves you to clear your body of these negative chemicals that are you are ingesting in your food, in your drink, in your sundries that you use daily. Your toothpaste carries fluoride which calcifies the pineal gland. The pineal gland is helps you access your third eye, which helps with your intuition. It empowers your intuition. If this pineal gland is calcifi calcified and hardened, it hardens your third eye. It blocks your vision. It blocks your intuition that serves the negative polarity. Not balance, not your intuition, not your access to your divine source. God, if you will. Thus, work to do research on how to clear your body of this negative energy, of the chemicals in your creams, in your shampoos, in your lotions, in your food, the chemicals in your food, in your processed food. Release these things from your body to help empower you on your path to transcendence, to ascendance, to your birthright. You must do the work. You must find a way to clear your body of these chemicals and empower you to transcendence. We are here to support you and we are always open if you open yourselves to us. We can help guide you through your intuition. But first, you must learn to trust your intuition and access your intuition. You have been taught that this is not a true measure of guidance, of information. You have been taught to read the science touch tangibility. You can't touch it. It can't be true. This is a form of manipulation to get you to separate yourself not only from your God, but also from each other. Reconnect 
with yourself. Clear your body. Reconnect with your God who resides from your heart. And then reconnect with your community, with your people. Reconnect with your neighbors. Reconnect with your family and friends. Reconnect with nature, animals, marine life in the water. Reconnect with these energies because that is your birthright. They are your friends. They are your family. They also have evolved here on Earth. They are your galactic family. You are connected innately, eternally to every energy on your world. In the universe, but at this phase in your transcendence, you are most connected to the energies on your world. You are the same. When you connect to your higher self, to your spiritual self, to your God, to your intuition, you will start to realize this truth. Let me also add that your earth, your mother, is transcended beyond the level of humanity. She is your creator. Therefore, her consciousness is further evolved than yours. Also, much of your planet has transcended already your marine life. For example, your wildlife, for example, have transcended beyond humanity. Why and how? You have been told that the animals on your world, the marine life on your world, the dolphins, the whales, the turtles, that they are beneath you, that they are not as intelligent as you to validate and justify their slaughter, their abuses, abuses against these creatures. They are beneath you and therefore you have a right to do what you will with them and to them. Your orangutans, your gorillas, your lions, your insects. This is a lie. Let me explain to you that these creatures do what they must to survive. They hunt, they eat, they procreate, they care for their young as long as their young needs them, and then they send them on their way. Their life cycle is about survival. They do not hunt if they are not hungry. They do not kill if they are not hungry. That is true of all life on this planet with the exception of humanity. Humanity hunts trophy items. You've hunted the white rhino to extinction. You have tried to hunt the elephants for their ivory tusks to extinction. You have tried with the gorillas. You have done this with many living creatures. The fewer that exists on the planet, the more desirable these items become. And you hunt trophies. This is a very negative polarity. Action. The Native Americans tried to teach you what it means to care for Mother Earth. They worked diligently to teach you what it means to hunt for necessity, to feed the body, the nutrients that your body needs to survive. 
They showed you how to honor the animal, to affirm your gratitude for the animal through dance, through ceremony, and through the utilization of every part of this beautiful creature that has sacrificed its life for yours. Yet you do not honor these teachings. Hence, your marine life, your animal life, your insects who sustain this world for you have transcended before you. The meek shall inherit the earth. Those humans who honor Mother Earth and all her creatures from the heart center will transcend with Mother Earth. This is their birthright. Those who are not ready will have the opportunity to incarnate on other worlds and raise their vibration to return to Mother Earth. I encourage you to take the opportunity in this moment, in this now, to transcend with Mother Earth and stay on this path. But this path is for you to decide which, which direction would you like to go. Transcendence or, again, you have an opportunity to incarnate on another world. But you must find your way on your path. Clear, center, and balance your energy. Eat clean food. Honor your people on your world. Honor your animals, your land, your leaders, your protection. Honor those who sacrifice for you to have the world and the life that you have so you may transcend to a better place. If you are unable to release this world as it is and see the beauty that is being offered to you, then you will hold on to this negative polarity and remain on the path of the negative polarity. If you can see this world, the beauty in it that exists even through this tumultuous time and embrace the beauty of this world that surrounds you, for there is much beauty here you will transcend and inherit Mother Earth with the animals and the marine life, the vegetation, the insects who love Mother Earth every day and care for her in the best way they can. I encourage you to journey on the path of transcendence Show love, compassion, and tolerance to the world around you. Seek a positive outcome by visualizing a positive outcome for humanity and Mother Earth. And that is what you shall experience. You will create this reality. Those who diverge and create beauty in their consciousness, in their minds, in their world will create that vision that is in their mind on this physical plane. They will create a new collective consciousness to ascend, transcend, vibrate with Mother Earth. They will match her frequency and they will inherit Mother Earth. That is how this will work. 
Do you understand? We hope that we have been very clear in this explanation to you. This path is yours to walk. Create your reality by creating beauty in your mind. The beauty you create in your mind will manifest into your reality. Be creative. Create your reality. It awaits you in the now. We honor you on your journey, on your transcendence, on your transition. As hard as this will be, you will carry this experience for eternity and you will be fortified by it. This experience is coveted by many people in the universe and those of you living through it may wonder why. Because humans on earth are, strong, are some of the strongest energies within this universe. The emotional capacity you have empowers you belong beyond anything you could possibly imagine. Embrace your beauty. Embrace your strength. Transcend. We are here for your questions but you must open yourself up and listen for the responses. We soon will be welcoming you, welcoming you into this galactic community. Be strong, trust, have faith in the path, your divine creator and God. This is how it is meant to be and you will transcend into a beautiful world should you be open to it. Welcome in the beauty of the universe through your heart center. Open yourself up to goodness, love, unconditional love, compassion, empathy to the world around you. Support the world around you and become paladins of love and light. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your commitment. Thank you for your patience in this moment. Live from the heart center. We are always with you and support you on your path. Thank you.